All right, everyone, welcome to the pop culture street. Girl, we're gonna try to go really fast through this street. So let's talk about the trailers, okay? This is the perfect, you know, connection between the Bravoverse and the pop culture street. The Traders season three is happening, you know, after a very, very successful season two. Of course, season three is around the corner. Girl, we don't know exactly who is coming, but we already have a few housewife names that are potentially going to be joining the show. Girl, it's been said that Teresa Judice, Kenya Moore, Dorinda Medley, and Heather Gay are in the run, or maybe all of them, because we also got a lot of housewives last season, are going to be part of the next season of The Traders. Girl, so this is, I mean, Kenya Moore, she needs to be a trader. She needs to be a trader, girl. So Kenya Moore uh, posted, she was the first one to post she going into a meeting with a sign that says the traders. That's it. I mean, loving it, okay? Then there was some rumors about Teresa Judice. Uh, Teresa Judice is everywhere right now, you know, as well. She is the moment. She has every campaign. She has everything going on. She was, she just filmed uh, House of Villains season two. So it will make a lot of sense for her to be on the traders. Um, now, Miss Phaedra Parks hinted that Dorinda Medley might be joining the next season of The Traders. Girl. If that happens, the only thing that I hope is that Dorinda gets drunk. Please, please make it happen. Get her drunk before the round table, please. That will be like the best TV in the world, you know? I want her to be like, clip, clip, you know? Uh, and, well, this is random, but I, I also saw, you know, like some rumors that Heather Gay, um, okay. I mean, I will prefer Lisa Barlow, but whatever, right? Um, guys, if you are not watching The Traders, please watch the first two seasons. Watch uh, The Traders UK. Watch The Traders Australia. Girl, this is the best game ever invented in the world, okay? Whew. All right, guys, so let's talk a little bit about Mr. Justin Bieber, because during the weekend, you know, everyone got super concerned because he, out of nowhere, decided to post these pictures where he was literally crying. Now, it is not a secret that Justin, you know, he deals with, you know, mental health issues, you know, and he, um, you know, it's part of his life, you know, and... When he posted these pictures of him literally crying, it was not ugly crying, but like with like tears. Everyone is like, WTF, what does this mean? You know, uh, there are always these rumors that, you know, Justin and Haley, that they are divorcing, you know, so people were very quickly to say like, this is it. This is him announcing the divorce. This is like, they are broken up, whatever. Well, Haley Weaver was really, really fast into saying that this is not true. Um, she posted on one of the pictures and she said, Worlds could never truly describe the beauty of who you are. Happy birthday to you, love of my life. For, sorry guys, love of my life for life. Okay. She also ripped apart all the false theories about, uh, you know, her marriage that are floating around, especially on TikTok, you know. She says that they are made out of thin air, come from the land of delusion. So I know it may be fun fitting into these stories, but just know they're always false. Sorry to spoil it. You know, a lot of people, they really want to believe that, uh, that the two of them are having, you know, a horrible time. I like I don't know why. Like even if you were a fan of Justin Bieber and Selena Gomez, it's like that boat has sailed so long ago. I think it sailed, it hit an iceberg, it's in the bottom of the ocean by now, you know. Like why don't let them be just happy? I don't get it, you know? Look, it's not I mean 
I don't know. It's a little bit weird, the whole situation. What do you think? Let me know in uh, the comments below. Um, now, let's talk a little bit about Miss Britney Spears. Girl, there is a lot of things going on with Miss Britney Spears. Also, during the weekend, it was said that, well, you know, she, the whole thing with the, the dad finally come to a resolution, and apparently she's not getting any of the money back that that guy stole from her. Mm -hmm. But anyways, you know, it is what it is. She's free. She can do whatever she wants. And now, out of nowhere, I mean, this is how funny it is. Out of nowhere, especially coming from TMC, which for some reason, TMC hates Britney Spears, you know, um, there are all of these rumors that Britney Spears is wasting her money away, you know, and that she doesn't know how to manage her money and that she is blowing money away you know and that she's going to be broke at any moment you know uh they're saying a source is saying that she has no concept of money that for over a decade other people were in charge of her bank accounts and every purchase had to be reported to the court even if it was a pack of gum but now she is on her own she is not broke but she definitely could benefit from being more careful with her cash uh, this is coming because a lot of, you know, Brittany travels a lot. She loves to go to Hawaii. She loves to go to, you know, uh, Cabo San Lucas. And she spent, you know, a quite a good amount of money over there. Uh, but she has, like, a lot of money. I mean, we're talking about millions and millions of dollars, right? Uh, I believe that this is, an, a, this is a continuing attempt of certain people to paint Brittany like this crazy girl over and over and over and over you know and i don't know honestly when when this is going to stop like when are we going to let her leave and do whatever she wants to do and to be very honest with you even if she was wasting every single penny that she has it's money that she has worked so hard all of her life you know that if she wants to waste it all until she end up living on a studio in Hollywood, that is her right as it is her money, you know? Um, um, for people to be so worried about it is like, just let her leave. Let her, she's finally leaving. I think that eventually, I mean, I feel that Britney is a very smart person, you know? You don't write a book like the one she wrote if you are not a smart woman. And I feel that eventually, I mean, she has a right team next to her right now, you know, and she will, she will do what is right and what she wants to do, you know. Does she wants to be like super millionaire for the rest of her life? That's her problem, you know, but I don't think that's up to anyone to decide, you know, what she wants to do, right? Okay, so... Now, let's take a little ride to, you know, uh, Royal Avenue and let's talk about uh, the royals for a second because Prince Harry is officially going to, um, you know, the Invictus Games uh, in London, you know. Um, there was a lot of talk if he was going to go, if he was not going to go. It is the 10th anniversary, so it was expected for him to go, but there was no confirmation whatsoever. Well, now it is official that he will be going to London. However, Meghan Markle is not going to be joining him on the trip to London. And it is said that no one from the royal family will be at the Invictus Games. Okay? Now, there are two ways to sing this. Uh, some people saying that, of course, you know, that they still hate Harry, that, you know, that is they're not going to support him whatsoever. And there are other people that are saying, you know, that they just don't want a media frenzy when, you know, the optics and, you know, everything should be focusing on the games and not if, you know, Prince Harry is talking to King Charles or if Prince Harry and Prince Williams are, you know, are being uh, brothers again, you know, like that should not be the center of uh, the show, which if the royal family goes... It's like everything that will be, everyone will be talking about, you know? Um, 
yeah i think it will be it is the right move you know now there is no there is no news yet if prince harry will go out of his way to like actually meet the royal family that's what we are all expecting you know um i think he should but of course outside of the invictus games you know after that he's going to nigeria i think Meghan markle will actually will be going to nigeria and um yeah that's kind of like his future over there i just i don't know i kind of like want them back together at least prince harry i think prince harry should return to the royal family maybe just him what do you think <laughs> let me know in the comments below and last but not least from the pop culture street the guest list for the Met gala has been licked out there and we have a lot of names now this is a very long list so i'm not gonna go through every single name because girl you know it's a lot let's just say it like that it is a lot of people that it is invited to the Met gala but let me go through like some names you know like for example emma chamberlain margot rovey taylor swift billy eilish celine dion sabrina carpenter uh ariana grande now there is someone that says lala is this lala from vanderpump rules can someone like let me know um Je jennifer lopez is invited to the met gala you know with everything that is going on with her i was like very surprised to see her name bad bunny kendall jenner rihanna anita Zendaya, chris hemsworth of course kim kardashian giselle bunchen sydney sweeney um which by the way i saw her last movie it is so bad just don't watch it it is like i don't get it it's a netflix i don't even some uh, something about us i don't remember the name of the title it is just so bad such a bad movie don't watch the movie it's a waste of time um jessica chastain black blake lively uh jenny ortega lana del rey america ferrera selena gomez of course jack harlow dua lipa timothy shamaland um emma stone Mm, Anne Hathaway, let's see. Naomi Campbell, oh, Liso, Liso is invited. Okay, okay. Madonna, Lady Gaga, Holly Bailey, um, let's see, Kylie Jenner, of course, Troy Sivan, Doya Cat, Hailey Bieber, Cardi B, Kristen Stewart, Ryan Gosling. Pete Davidson, Meryl Streep, Tom Holland, Ben Affleck, uh, Chris Jenner, Bradley Cooper, Nicki Minaj, Pedro Pascal, Jared Leto, Gigi Hadid, Miley Cyrus. I'm trying to look for like the big names. Uh, <laughs> Katy Perry, um, <laughs> Sarah Paulson, Emma Thurman, Jeff Bezos, Serena Williams, Gemma Chan. Yes, there is just a bunch of names. Girl, I'm very excited. I always like the Met Gala. I always like how crazy they are, you know, and the themes and everything. So we will be talking more about that as soon as we know more, you know. So let me know in the comments who are you excited to see at the Met Gala. Whew. All right, guys. So with that, we are done with the pop culture streets, but don't go anywhere because we are about to go to the juiciest part of the show. And those are the breaking news.